Children are born curious. They are natural scientists. Children have a built-in desire to learn firsthand about the world around them. So why is it important to nurture and cultivate the young child's curiosity? Why? Their curiosity about the world around them is the beginning of scientific thinking. Famous scientists such as Leonardo da Vinci, Einstein, Rosalind Franklin, Carl Sagan, Richard Feynman were all curious individuals. During this interactive keynote for early childhood educators, participants were introduced to methods on how to nurture and develop the young child's natural curiosity. They use simple mathematical and scientific tools to make observations of the physical and living world around them. They communicated and collaborated with their peers. My goal for the keynote was for every participant's own curiosity to be reawakened, to see the power and beauty of curiosity. Yes. Oh, now that you took a Okay, there. so this is Curious George, and this is Einstein, and Fibaracci, and Da Vinci in his helicopter, and the seed pod, and notes on the bubbles, and the scientific thinking. Oh, you guys want to hold about uh, 10 minutes. I've never been to a keynote where you had so much hands-on. It was excellent. It was nothing you could sleep through. Yeah. It was wonderful. Oh, I did. Oh, <laughs> it didn't catapult. I'm using my brain. That's what a supervisor does. Small little car in the backyard and rolls much farther on the surface of smooth and hard. Oh, man. Oh, man. There's enough force to go down and then come back up. And it's worked twice. Woo! The materials didn't really lend themselves to a corner, but we have a little bit of a ramp. And then we were trying to set it up on the table. Okay. Share buckets. Oh. Okay. Oh, I like the dirt. Yeah. Who's the actual bone? Oh, I think this fell in. Oh, the actual whiskers. Very nice. Oh, let us see yours. It's all scrunched up. It's like almost three. It's like and three, then it goes. Like,